wanted to use this opportunity to talk about Legator as a whole and what I think of their kind of guitars and their brand. I really wanted a 7 string Tele and this was the cheapest one I could find on the market. It was also the cheapest Legator that they offered. For 350 bucks, this sounds dope. Like I love this guitar. The neck is a very kind of flat D on the back. It feels really nice to play. It's really kind of smooth. I don't feel any resistance from it. It kind of gels with me very well. I feel a lot of inspiration from playing it. It's overall just a really fun to play instrument. It was definitely worth the money. I feel like it's more of a $750, $800 guitar. And I think therein lies the kind of weird thing about a guitar. From what I've seen, I've never played a higher end guitar, but from what I've seen from other reviews and other people, it seems that this kind of level of quality that we get on the $350 models carries forward into the $1,000 and $1,500 and $2,000 models where it might not seem as worth it for when you're paying that much money. There are some paint bubbles and there's some tool marks kind of in various places on the body. Um, and I, don't, I think that's a problem that a lot of people had with older Legators. Um, you know, I've seen people kind of review them and be like, this is not what I expect from a guitar I'm paying this much for. And you know, teach their own, I don't really mind this kind of stuff. Additionally, I feel like other brands at similar price points offer better features. For example, you know, Schecter guitars. For a thousand bucks, you can get a seven string with Fishman's locking tuners, neck through, stainless steel frets. Whereas Legators, they were kind of big offering this fan frets. They kind of use their regular no-name Legator brand pickups and all the guitars. They don't really offer locking tuners except on, you know, $1,400 plus dollar models or, you know, name brand pickups, any of them either. And I think for the feature set you can get on a lot of other brands, there really isn't a good reason to go with Legator guitars for the price they're offering. Even if Legator guitars are very well made for the price point they're offering them at, I think with other brands, like ones that I have played, Schecter, Ibanez, you can get better features plus that level of craftsmanship at similar price points. But again, this is a great guitar. For the price it was, like, I love it. I don't think I'm going to get rid of it anytime soon. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think Legador is like a worthy brand? Do you think it should be more highly regarded lately due to their kind of marketing, rebranding? Just let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Until next time, whenever that is.